Hi doctors, for years my small breasts have been a problem and I've always tried to hide them. I have been to other plastic surgeons and have been told that the breast implants will not look natural because I have a shallow chest cavity. So I am wondering if there's any new advancement in implants that will look natural and fit my body. Well, no breast problem is double trouble for Dr. Orden here. He found a custom solution for Melissa. Today I'm doing primary breast augmentation on Melissa. She is ideal for this new highest profile implant put out by the Mentor Corporation. Why is she such a great candidate? She has a narrow chest configuration. She has a narrow natural base diameter to her breast and she's looking for that more projecting perky look to her breast. You're an A cup starting off. We want to take you to a nice medium C cup. This procedure, it's all about creating the pocket just right, just so there's a little bit of give around that implant so that it can move naturally in the body. We're going straight down into breast tissue, looking for that pectoralis major muscle, which will be my next landmark. You'll see very little cutting. I'm going to do a lot of this with my finger. What I'm doing first is creating a plane in the subglandular above the muscle, which allows this skin to redrape. Next step, I'm going to go under that muscle. I just want to gently separate these fibers towards the midline. Nice tissue. She has well-developed pecs, so there is a little bit of pulling involved here. Ultra high profile with a narrow diameter. This is perfect for Melissa. There's a real technique that you learn over the years of stuffing this with two fingers. So this is the key. Put the patient in a sitting position to make sure that everything is lining up or closing up that incision around the nipple. Couldn't look any better. Let's get her in a dressing. Please welcome Melissa. Good to see you. You too. And just a little over a week. How are you feeling? Travis. I feel great. Before we go any further, let's take a look at Melissa before her surgery in her bathing suit and how she looked after her surgery. Definitely, you know, I noticed are, are you happy? Yes. I think that means she's happy. <laughs> so, tell me, so this is an ultra high profile implant? That's How right. Is this I mean, in, in... I want you to take a look at these and you can see, you can see the difference that we have a ultra high profile implant here and we have a low profile implant here. You see the base diameter is larger there. This one is smaller, and these are the same volume. In Melissa's case, this was a much better choice. You know, the best way to show this is to put it on this mannequin in the bra. Now, these are both 325 cc implants, but you can see that with a wider base diameter, you're more likely to get this volume on the side in here where you don't want it, right? Whereas with a high-profile implant, and you put that in, that's going to sit on the footprint of her own breast, give her the projection that she wants, but sitting in that, in that footprint. If you use two of these wider-based implants, they're going to touch together and give you sort of that unibreast look or synmastia, which is, which is not, not natural. Not what you're wanting, right. And your smile says it all, so yes. you're happy. Thank you so I'm very, very much. Happy. Thank Dr. Orton, good job.